Hey, I'm Charting Man Dan. If you like this video, I encourage you to check out our website, thechartguys.com, home of technical analysis, learning, and education, where we broadcast live market coverage every morning, provide live chart consultation, and point out key levels on your favorite plays in our community chat room. Why not check out our free trial and join the best technical analysis community online? Looking at SPY on the daily and weekly time frame, bearish day today. We opened lower, and the bears controlled the entire day, watching on the five-minute chart. We had the 20 period moving average resistance rejecting the price for most of the morning and from there it was just lower highs and lower lows. One thing that did happen is we bounced off a low of 187.20. You can see a line right there. Look at how many times we have now bounced just above 187. A low of 187.06, 187.16, 187.10 and today 187.20. So if we close below 187, it's going to be a very bearish development, and that will indicate most likely a test of 181 is coming in the near future. That's because there's not much support established besides that 187. We have the low of this day at 184.64, but again, after that, right down to 181. So bulls are barely hanging on here. We'll be watching for further weakness and bearish entries and also watching for the potential middle Bollinger Band and 10-day moving average resistance to reject the price. Those levels are 190.03 and 190.35. MACD is starting to curl down. We're a ways away from a bearish cross. On the weekly chart, now that the week has closed, bearish week, we confirmed the bullish reversal last week, set a higher high and maintained a higher low, but it is still clearly a bearish candlestick closing near the low of the week. So a red week next week will confirm the bearish reversal and it will be a very short-lived bullish reversal. If not, if we see some green, that will establish some support and we will see if we take it from there. So you can see the clear 187 support on these lower wicks bouncing from those levels. We can see aside from the levels I highlighted on the daily chart, we also have a support at the low of this week, 185.82. And if we break that low of 181, we'll be looking down at the August lows of 180.38. So it's looking like we could be headed there in the somewhat near future, but it all depends on 187, and Monday will certainly be telling. If you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put them out daily. The website again, thechartguys.com. I would love to teach you technical analysis, and I do so through live interactive webcams, educational videos, and a growing community of diverse individuals willing to share their knowledge. Come check it out for a free week. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good night.